Hospital crews are waiting for more of that personal protective equipment as they brace for the biggest surge in cases. But it's also vitally important to keep other equipment properly disinfected. Now a professor at CU in Denver is offering up a tool that could make a big difference. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt live on campus tonight. Karen, the devices for items that often get overlooked. Yeah, Jim, we're talking about tablets, cell phones, even just a pen that maybe gets passed around. Right now, hospital protocol is simply to use a wipe and disinfect them by hand, while this new device would make it easier and faster. Healthcare workers across the state are using every tool they have to limit the spread of COVID-19 in hospitals. This would be e extremely valuable because it, this would help break down the, those um, infections that are spread so quickly. Mark Gakowski is a professor of electrical engineering at the University of Colorado in Denver. He and his father designed an automatic disinfecting system for the medical field that right now relies largely on wiping things down by hand. This unit can very quickly disinfect all of the ordinary items that doctors and patients use. So things like cell phones, stethoscopes. They partnered with Stary Free Medical Company to develop a tool that was already in demand, but CEO Rick Shea says is needed now more than ever. But our consumable uh, will last for two to three weeks in a normal hospital setting. So one consumable equals about 22 containers of disinfectant wipes. This device will be a lifesaver for our, you know, our brave people on the front line. Typically, a regulatory review of the device could take all year, but in the midst of a pandemic, the EPA has expedited the process. We're anxious to get in this COVID-19 fight. This product can really make a big difference in the healthcare environment today. What also makes this device unique is it doesn't use heat like some of the other sterilization processes that we've seen, which makes it safe for all electronic devices. If approved by the EPA, it could be in production in just a few weeks. In Denver, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.